Baton Rouge, some bills aimed at reducing the expansion of the hemp THC industry in the state didn't end up making it through the legislature and onto the governor's desk. That news has uh, businesses selling hemp-derived THC products breathing a sigh of relief. David Jones has more. We were not pleased to hear that so many of those products would have become illegal had these laws gone into effect. With the end of session comes reflection, especially for the hemp industry in Louisiana, which survived bills aimed at curbing the levels of THC and consumable hemp products. We were really disappointed when the bills that came out this session uh, didn't seek to make improvements to ultimately make the industry safer and better for consumers. David Reich is chief marketing officer for Crescent Canna, which markets CBD and other legal THC products under current Louisiana law. Things like tinctures, topicals, gummies, and recently a THC seltzer, Crescent 9. We created that product based on the current hemp laws. Current hemp law in Louisiana allows companies to sell products with up to eight milligrams of THC per serving. Crescent Canna's seltzer is at six. One bill by a senator out of Monroe sought to completely eliminate THC in hemp products. Other bills would have lowered the THC cap or further regulated serving sizes and tightened penalties for breaking the law. But all of those bills died before making it to the governor's desk. The reason we've been able to bring so many compelling products to market is because the legal framework around the hemp industry has invited that kind of innovation. Whenever we're dealing with a cannabis related product, I mean, innovation, you know, it, it's it's an, it's a it's an American icon. It's part of what we are. Kevin Caldwell is with the Marijuana Policy Project, which focuses its efforts on changing state and federal laws around cannabis with the eventual goal of legalization. People invested their life savings in businesses and um, and they were working within the laws that Louisiana set up. Caldwell says if the bills would have gone through, it would have been detrimental for Louisiana's hemp industry and companies like Crescent Canna. They're going to continue to produce uh, products that people want. Um, they're going to continue to pay taxes and you're going to have, uh, you know, a thousand plus Louisianians um, who are still uh, able to pay their mortgage and put food on their family's table because uh, working in a legal industry. As these bills stalled out, opponents have vowed to reintroduce legislation next year aimed at reining in the hemp THC industry in Louisiana. Lee.